the Balearic Islands, a group of four main islands off the east coast of Spain. Searching for the vistas of the postcards and photos of yesterday. This time on the west coast of Ibiza, in San Antonio. Finding the view of this 1940s postcard on the main approach to this ever popular town. Going cross country from Santa Gertrudis takes you through the fertile and arable lands with the specific ochre soil of the island caused by the tannins released from fallen pine needles, giving the Ibiza landscape its distinctive colour. Deliberately taking the slower back road to take a sneak peek at the legendary Pikes Hotel. Conceived by the hedonistic late Tony Pike in 1980 and put on the superstar map by the likes of Julio Iglesias, Freddie Mercury and Grace Jones to name but a few. With his recently published book recounting the highs and lows of the early Ibiza party scene, dubbed by some as the Hugh Hefner of Ibiza and host to WAM's Club Tropicana video. Coming into the centre, it's difficult to determine the exact location of the postcard of yesterday, with the density of the holiday accommodation that shows the popularity of San Antonio. But from gauging the church bell in the top right, this is probably the spot the photographer stood some 80 years ago. The prominent bell of San Antonio Church is much clearer to see on this postcard of the same era. Walking through the winter quiet streets of San Antonio reveals the hidden gems of building art along the way. and picturesque buildings from yesterday that flank the 17th century church of San Antonio. Built not only as a place of worship, but also as a fortress to defend against wily pirates. With iron doors and hot oil ready to be swiftly poured onto any attacker's heads from the belfry above. The second oldest church on the island in its various forms is still very much a thriving community church. that also houses the town's library today. Leaving the church behind to try and find the very same view of times past. And it's quite easy to see how little has changed. Although I feel the photographer may have had a slightly more elevated position for his shot. And there is nothing to suggest that in fact this wasn't the original site for San Antonio's fortress church. The original chosen spot of the 16th century was abandoned as legend has it that every day the tools mysteriously moved over two kilometres to the current church site. And in true island fashion the unconsecrated church blossomed into a renowned restaurant and is still allegedly haunted today.